Hey, it's Andy J here again. Yeah, um, this video, I'm going to talk about why I think HitFilm Express or HitFilm Pro in many ways is better than Adobe CS5 or, or CS6 or whatever you're using or After Effects. Don't get me wrong, I use I use both of them, so or you lambaste me or whatever, blow me out of the water. The reasons I think that HitFilm is better because it's more convenient where you know like say um you need to make a composite shot that you need to edit traditionally like in after effects you had to you had to leave that program open and you had to had to render it there and then put it over to premiere pro or whatever soft or whatever video editing program you were using a hit film See, they started out there like that, and others now like HitFilm because it's HitFilm Express is free. You can buy add-on packs for like the Master Collection. I, mean, I bought it at an OEM site for like, I forgot how much it was exactly. <clears throat> Even at the OEM price, it wasn't it wasn't cheap. Excuse me, inexpensive. That's a trademark with me. <laughs> it's just allergies and stuff. I'm sorry, but um. Getting more to the point. Yeah, it's like um, you can conveniently in HitFilm like composite in the same window as you're editing it. Because all you have to, in fact, I just uh, for this one video I just did about uh, not blaming God, I just did it in HitFilm. The Lord told me do it in HitFilm because it's quicker. You know. And it's like, I was able to have it open in editing, but oh, make a new composite shot. Boom, then take that and drag it over on top of your clips that you're editing in the regular editor. It's just that quick. Like I said, I'm not knocking Adobe. I mean, they got some great software. I've used it. In fact, my friend Eric Bell, he introduced me to video editing through Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. And Eric, if you watch this video, thank you for all you've taught me. Give a shout out to him. He's been my filmmaking mentor, and he's taught me a lot. Um, like I said, you know, both softwares are great. I like, I like the fact that, in, and I wish HitFilm would incorporate something like this. After Effects has the, the Roto Brush tool, whereas in HitFilm, I don't think they really have it yet. I like actually mask it, which is like this one tutorial said. That's that's just suicide. <laughs> Because <laughs> this, you got like you got a lot of free time. And you don't have to like actually work a regular job or whatever. You know, <laughs> you can just. I'm like this. This is a headache trying to even with the rotor brush tool. You still have to tweak it a little bit in After Effects, but at the same time, it's like hey, you know, it's, it's a lot faster than masking. Like uh, for instance. Tripod over here. Hold on. Man. Like for instance, I'm oh, I'm I'm editing a video right now. This is a video edit. Of the one I did for um, Don't Blame God. You know, the title, take the camera off the tripod here. <coughs> Excuse me. I did that. You know, that's, you know, like, like you got controls, audio mixer. Um, go back over here to media. The composite shot's like right here see that or not that's the composite shot and I'm in the video editor and I'm rendering that right now and this is before I um, uploaded that video I just happened to have it open <laughs> kind of backpedaling here <laughs> but yeah now like I said After Effects is great because <clears throat> excuse me Move the old tripod back over sort of where it was <clears throat> excuse me 
you know, like After Effects, I don't know exactly where it was, I'm kind of moving around on the fly. The thing I've known, I'm, I'm known for in my films is good old, is good old filmmaking. <laughs> you know, I've tried doing the whole uh, shot sheet and all that stuff. I'm just like, I just want to get it done. You know, like, but whatever works for you, works for you. And, and, you know, yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> like I said, each has its own perks and disadvantages. But on the whole, personally, I think hit film is actually more convenient than, than like After Effects because they don't because you have to open two separate programs. And I don't I don't like now that you have to like you know basically use Creative Cloud online and stuff. I'm like you have to have a subscription for it. I'm like man, <laughs> that sucks, you know. But whatever works. Some people are, they, they like that. I, mean, I just like to have the software on my computer where I can use it without having to pay a monthly subscription. And I can understand why Adobe did that because you know a lot of people like to you know pirate software and stuff. Yeah. And in my in my past, I've been guilty of that. Same. But I try I try to pay for stuff anymore. You know, I'm like you know. <clears throat> I'm kind of trying to, you know, I'm trying to grow up, you know, as a Christian, you know, as a person. I'm not saying I'm perfect because I know I'm not. But nobody has a right to judge me and vice versa. But hey, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, comment, rate, subscribe. If you want to, the comments are respectful. You know, I won't leave any negative comments. So, um, be honest. As always, most importantly, I stre I I got I stress this. I want, whether you believe or not in Jesus, that's your choice. That's on you. I want you to stay blessed, stay safe, stay healthy, stay at peace, love one another. Love. Jesus said, "My bird, my yoke is easy, my burden is light." And Satan wants people to hate each other. Like I said in my other video, which at the time that I was filming this, I was actually still editing to be uploaded. And I'm talking about it as if it's already uploaded. It's <laughs> like a conundrum paradox thing. <laughs> but it shows I'm not perfect. In Jesus' name, you all have a great night or day.